This is First Alert Weather. Well, we're taking a live look at the storm tracker right now where we're seeing that rain move through northeast Kansas from south to north here, especially between Manhattan County and Shawnee County there in our area where that flow is going to probably continue without interruption for at least another hour or so. The heavier of this rain starting to uh, shrink a little bit, at least as it sets its sight on our region here. So that is a little bit of some good news. I think we may end up avoiding some of that thunder and lightning, which we did observe yesterday near the Wichita area and the Oklahoma border. But uh, either way, we're still going to be getting a pretty good amount of rain out of this system, maybe close to an inch by by the time it's all said and done. And then, of course, watching for overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning, some of that transitioning into some snow. Now, as you can see, there are some uh, warnings and advisories in effect here for Cloud County and Washington County. We do have those winter weather alerts for, for where that snow could be a little bit higher with those totals, maybe closer to two or three inches in some of these spots, whereas east of that point here, sort of on the cutoff of where that snow will be uh, compared to where areas that are only going going to see rain closer to the Kansas City area. I think most of Northeast Kansas probably going to see less than a two inches, if it may be even an inch at that. But we are uh, going to re remain uh, watching this system over the next several hours and give you updates throughout the day on uh, what we expect to occur and how that transition of the precipitation should play out. Now temperatures across the uh, state are showing a bit of a spread here. We're still in the upper 50s, very warm in the eastern half of the state, or I should say where we're still seeing rain, but as you move further to the west, those temperatures definitely seem to drop down and where there is snow being observed along the Colorado border. As you might expect, those temperatures are at or below freezing, but here's our supercast showing you uh, regardless of what those temperatures are going to be, how we expect this to play out here over the next several hours. By closer to noon, it looks like we're going to see at least a lighter rain in the area, if not get a decent break here from that rain, but it's not going to be the end of it. I think by this evening we are going to see at least a little bit of a return, sort of the back end of some of this rain impacting a lot of our eastern counties. Out to the west, where that snow is expected, you guys might stay a little bit drier tonight, but uh, I think the drawback to that is that that snow is going to form a little earlier and probably going to see a little bit of some higher totals there to that point. But heading into Monday, the snow I don't think is going to be blanketing our region too bad. Along the Nebraska border and in Nebraska itself is where the heaviest of that snow is expected. And as we turn into Tuesday, I think we're still going to end up avoiding a lot of that and maybe only just see a couple of flurries as it exits. So precipitation totals, this includes both snow and rain. I think we could be seeing over an inch here, mostly rain for a lot of us, but as it regards to snow, uh, I don't think it's going to be quite as much. And those rain chances definitely going to uh, drop off a cliff. Snow, all types of precipitation after Christmas Day, we should be drier. 59 for today, heavier AM rain, lighter in the afternoon. And we're going to watch for that to transition to snow tonight as uh, we have those temperatures definitely drop much further than they have over the last several days. And as you can see, after Christmas, it looks like things will be colder and drier in Northeast Kansas.